after their after last year in comparison to this year, uh, what's your thoughts just postseason? Um, hard for me to make a comparison from one year to the next, but it's I think a very good thing to make a comparison from when I first came here in February to when the season ended in November. Um, great improvements in the way we play the game, great commitment, a great desire and I think a belief in something that they can be better at. So I think we've accomplished a number of the goals we set out to in that we won games, in that we were competitive in most of the games, in that we changed the mentality and the approach of the players to believing they could compete and they could succeed. So I think that's a great turnaround in one year. Where do you see this program head in the next uh, two, to, two to four years? Um, I think great improvements. There's a lot of good things on the horizon. Obviously, the returners have had a lot of experience this year. I think the development of the stadium, I think the development of the athletic department, and then the development of the university, I think just bodes well for the growth of the soccer program. So I think there's a lot of good positive things come from the program in the next couple of years. What, what's, your, what's your number one goal for next year? I think we've got to be competitive in, in the conference. I'd like to see us in the conference tournament. Uh, looking at the results this year, there's a lot of 1-0 games, overtime games in the conference finals. So I think getting to the conference tournament has got to be a goal and being competitive in those conference games. We have a very difficult schedule next year. We play a number of Big 12 teams. So I think that's going to get us prepared and blood us for those conference games. So get into the conference tournament, be competitive in conference, and I think that will get us on our first step to getting into the NCAA tournament, which may be two or three years down the road, but I think those are the goals for next year. What was the high point for this year? Um, I think there are a couple of high points to me. Uh, I talk about, as a team, the win at Sam Houston, obviously as a conference win away from home, the win against South Alabama as the first win. Those would be successes on the field. I think from the team building standpoint, having gone through a couple of hurricane evacuations, just the growth of the individuals was tremendous to see. And then I think the individuals, you've got to look at Alini, who gets a honourable mention for all conference, which on a team like ours is a great achievement considering where we've come from. So I think that those are three of the, the things I look back at this year as saying those are great accomplishments. Do you feel more caught after being here now a year? Uh, you know, obviously coming in, recruiting uh, new girls, better you know schedule, this, that, and the other, whatever it may be. Any, anything new? Uh, how do you feel now going into your second year? Do you feel a lot better, or do you feel like, hey, I got more work to do? Or where do you? Um, you're going to find from me that we will, we will at one point beat a team by four or five goals and play very, very well. We'll succeed tremendously in a year by having a, a fantastic winning record. But as a coach, I always want more. I always have this goal and desire to see this level of performance that is just exceptional. So I'm never going to be satisfied as a coach. But if you ask me today, are we closer to that? I would say a whole lot closer. And as we pointed out, those things that are coming on board, both with the team and with the university, really make me believe we're a whole lot closer. So great accomplishments this year. Will I be satisfied with going eight and eight next year or whatever it is? No, I'll never be satisfied because it's a level of play, not wins and losses that drives that elite performance, I would, I would say.